مرحبا انا اسمي العورة وهذه قناتي اليوتيوب لوعة مع العورة Hello everyone, my name is Laura and this is my channel Languages with Laura. Today I want to talk about some of the struggles of learning a language on your own because most of us who are here are learning languages on our own or at home or not in a formal class setting and so sometimes it's good to just sit down look at these struggles, relate with somebody about them, and then try and figure out how we're gonna push through. I'm not gonna say that I have answers on how to uh, overcome all of these struggles, but you know, these are some of the struggles that I face, and if you face them, please let me know in the comments and we can figure this out together, or if you have recommendations on how to overcome these, let me know, but I just thought it would be nice to have a minute to just this is hard. <laughs> Language learning is not easy, okay? Like, if it were easy, we'd all learn it in like a week or two, maybe a month. But it's it's not easy. And so I just want to kind of use this as a motivator to keep going, even though it is hard, but also a reminder that it should be fun and that we're all in this together. So let's jump into it. First, one of the things that I struggle with is being able to test myself. Do I actually know what I am learning? Am I going to be able to produce it later when I need it and not just in the moment? Because sometimes I think like I understand something in my head. So I think I've learned it when that is not always the case. Sometimes just because I understand it doesn't mean I've learned it. So it leads need for review and Review is probably the best way to combat this as well as making your own tests. But again, that doesn't work for everyone with their language learning journey to make a test. But when I come at a new vocab list or grammar rule or something, I like to write a test for myself on the first day. And then after I think I've got it, take that test. Let some time pass let me practice and then I like to take the test but that's because I do really well with deadlines so having a test that I'm gonna take in like two weeks works really well for me but not always for everyone so just making sure that you review something the day you learn it the day after a couple days later a week after at the end of the month whatever having a spaced repetition so that you can actually learn the material and be able to accurately and actively recall it whenever you need and not just in the moment. But it can honestly be really hard for me to tell when I've learned something versus when I've memorized it for a moment or I just understand it. Number two can be resources. I just released a video on my recommendations on how to pull together resources, how many you should use, what type of resources, but honestly if you don't know anyone else who is learning the language, it can be really hard to do that, to go out and find those resources on your own because you don't know what resources are good or bad, you don't know which ones work for you, which ones don't, and just finding them in the first place can be difficult. And then on top of that, it can get expensive really quickly. And not all of us have thousands of dollars to drop on a textbook. I always go to things like thrift books, not sponsored, or like my local bookstores where I know books are a little bit cheaper and I try and find textbooks there to try and keep costs down. Otherwise, everything else I'm doing like free trials, I'm doing free websites, I endure ads, whatever it may be, because language learning can be an expensive hobby. It also doesn't have to be, but that can definitely be a struggle of learning a language on your own, is that it can get expensive if you don't have anyone there to like help you figure it out or give you tips and advice. Number three, and this is a big one, reliability and motivation. <laughs> this is purely self <laughs> dealing. I, I put up a video on how to stay motivated much earlier in the channel um, with some things that help me stay motivated because especially when you hit like that intermediate plateau, it can be super, super difficult to stay motivated if you don't feel like you're learning 
or if you feel alone when you're doing it. So I definitely recommend checking out that video on how to stay moti motivated, but also reliability. There's nobody there who's like marking your attendance when you show up to class or nobody's recording you on if you're spending 30 minutes a day doing language learning you can do it yourself you can do a habit tracker those have never really worked for me but they do work really well for some other people so you could try a habit tracker you could put it on a daily to-do list that is what i like to do i like to when i get up in the morning i look at my to-do list of what i need to do that day and as long as the language lesson is on there it's just like a mini reminder not that I'd forget, but if I if I have a busy day, it might not be the first thing I think about making time for. But again, I have made a video on how to study languages with a busy schedule as I am a college student who also works multiple jobs. So my schedule can be pretty busy. Um, so you can check out that video as well. But just to find a way to keep yourself accountable to keep learning the language in a schedule that works for you. Don't do these massive lessons every day if you don't have the energy, the stamina, or the time to do so. But doing it less than once or twice a week, you're not gonna make a lot of progress. So finding a way to balance in your schedule and keeping yourself accountable can be so difficult. Number four is actually personalized exposure. If you don't know what you don't know, then how are you gonna know what you need to know? <laughs> okay. Let me break that down. Personalized exposure. This can be where you're learning a lot on certain topics that interest you, which is super great, especially if you're doing this purely out of interest. That's wonderful. That's fantastic. But sometimes I wonder, what do I not know that other people know that I either could use or might come across? And again, this kind of depends if you're learning language for fun or if you're learning language to travel or for academics or for work, you know, you typically need to know a wide range of topics for those things. And so if you're not, if you don't have a set list of all the things that you're gonna learn or a schedule or a, um, what's the word, a curriculum, if you don't have a curriculum to follow, it can be difficult to figure out what you don't know and then how to learn it. But if you're learning it just for fun and you really only want to learn the things that you are actively interested in and you're going to talk about, this might not be as hard. But sometimes if I'm having a conversation with someone and they use a phrase or a word that I don't know, how am I going to come across it except for in this instance? And then I'm already stuck in the conversation that I can't just like, like I can ask them to explain it and see if I can guess the word or phrase. But otherwise, I'm just going to have to like write it down, file it away for later to try and look up later, which again is not bad. But if you're like more of a beginner intermediate, that can just seem so much more daunting <laughs> than when you're in an advanced level. So personalized exposure, knowing what you know, not knowing what you don't know, that can be a bit of a struggle. And then the fifth and final point that I want to make that has been a struggle for me as an independent language learner and might be for you. Again, if these are not struggles for you, great. Keep going. You're doing fantastic. I just wanted to share and see if other people can relate. But this final point is fixing mistakes. If I don't realize I'm making a mistake, I'm gonna keep making it over and over again until it becomes a habit. I had this with French a little bit. I learned French. I stopped using it for a while for various reasons. And then coming back to French, I started practicing it again, but I was making a lot of mistakes and not remembering if they were mistakes or not. And I kept doing it over and over again. So I find myself having to go back relearn and try and correct this habit which correcting a bad habit can be such a pain in the butt that really sucks so it is like super important to have a way to correct yourself to figure out when you're making the mistake whether it's like sending a chat to ai and saying correct the sentence or correcting things in the back of a textbook or having to just flat out google it <laughs> i don't know but sometimes if i don't know i'm making a mistake I can get so nervous or paranoid because if I am making mistakes and I don't know, how am I gonna correct it? 
and then am I just gonna sound like a weirdo? Am I just gonna like not be understood? Because the worst thing would be to not be understood. If I make a few grammatical mistakes here and there, that's fine. It's all about being understood, for me at least, it's all about being understood and having a conversation with someone. But you know, the less mistakes I make, the easier it can be and the more confident I feel when doing this language. Again, there are ways to combat all of this and to help overcome these struggles. And there are probably other struggles that you face, that I face, that I just don't remember. Um, but it's, it's not the end of the world, you know? So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you can relate to any of this, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments. Cause sometimes you just need to vent. Sometimes you just need to relate and then you can figure out how to move forward and make it better. Um, and if you like content like this, language learning, traveling, I do that kind of content. So you should subscribe and hit the bell to be notified um, for when I post videos. I try and post them on Mondays, but I at least do like one video a week. So definitely stay tuned for that. And I wish you all happy language learning until I see you in the next video. Ma salama.